hello there welcome to my channel and today i'm going to show you how you can create an automated backup such that each time a user closes the database the backup is updated or created in case it is not uh, in existence so let me uh, first illustrate how this uh, automated backup works before i show you the details on how to create uh, or configure your backup system so for example i have a saloon and a spa application here so when i click on this saloon and spa it opens up for me my database which i called northern beach saloon and spa limited so uh, this is the main form or the navigation form of my saloon and spa application so when i close or i exit assuming that i've done work for the day and i exit this application uh, click exit you realize that it creates another file on top here and it called it saloon and spa created on the 20th uh, on the 20th of april and uh, it's created uh, at 1749 20th april 2021 so you can see i have a backup created at uh, 1749 so uh, if the user probably logged out at midday and they want to uh, uh, go into the database again and continue working i can go to the, the saloon and spa once again and uh, it opens with my welcome message and it takes me to the uh, main form and assuming that i added uh, a client let me add a client uh, let me add uh andre andre um, and then uh, maybe a telephone number some telephone number yeah ambiguous telephone number and uh you can see i've added andre so uh, just click here to add andre so each time i exit uh, this system will update my backup with the, the recent or the new with a fresh database so if i exit here it is going to update this uh, backup system here so you can see it is updated at 1751 let me check whether it is actually updated i want to uh, i want to find out if really andre is within this database i enable content here uh, it brings the welcome message you wait a moment uh, i want to check whether the andre is there by clicking edit there so you can see andre is within this new database the the backed up database so this is how it works but however how do we configure it it is very simple i'm going to show you how it is done so i'm going to exit this and i'm going to show you how to set up uh this uh, uh this day uh, this backup uh automated backup system with ease so i'm going to open my saloon and the spa application what you do uh you you go to what you do you go to uh create and then we are going to create a module create a module click here i'm going to keep it very simple such that you'll be able to set this up uh within no time in your microsoft access databases so i've read written the code i've written come up with the code i'm just going to share with you this code in my video so you copy this code I explain a bit of the items in this code copy it i'm in notepad here i'm copying from notepad you go to your module here i'm creating a new module i right click paste so i'm creating a module and i'm calling it create my backup so you can leave this as they are or what you can change you can change here the name of the the new backed up file let me add there 
uh, something like say uh, saloon and spa sss maybe ss uh, to enable me identify the file that uh, I have backed up so this will give you the date and time this part here as simple as that having created the module you save it come here and save the module and I'm going to call this module uh, create sorry create create backup as simple as that I had created a number of modules here but uh, I've uh, uh, created another module which I've, uh, I've with a function called create my backup. This is a very very important part of the process of setting up an automated backup system. Having done that you close here, you close here. Now what you have to do is to call that function, uh, this function here I called it create my backup. You just call this function in your form. And how do we do that? What you do, you just go to the main form. You go to the forms. You go to the main form. You go to the design view of the main form and uh, you want each time this form closes to make a backup. So you double click here, you go to the close event, close event. Assuming that uh, this was empty, it will come when there's nothing. You click here. You go to code builder, you click OK. So I want to call by function. Of course, this one has to come uh, when it is empty. What you do, you call your function. So it's a matter of typing call. You remember the name of your function? The name of your function was. If you don't remember the the the, uh, the name of your function, you can go to uh, your uh, notepad, and this is the name of your function. Create my backup. Copy. I can as well paste direct. So I've called my function, but however, always in Visual Basic, especially in MS Access, always uh, start your code with on error resume next what this one means that in case this function has an issue it will not stop the entire database to function what the computer will do will skip this function and the, the database will continue functioning but of course we need to make sure that it functions well and the, the, uh, the backup is being uh, made on each time the form is closed. So the interesting part is now to test to see if our backup is working. So you save this uh, this form, you can click here to save and then close here. So let's open the main form. We want to see if this uh, form on its closure will create a backup and the backup name is going to be, uh, we, we called it uh, Saloon and the Spa SS. Remember we added SS in when we are putting it in the main, uh, in the main form. So let me see, exit. Of course now I want to, I want to check in my folder and see if, uh -huh, the idea is, you can see Saloon and the Spa SS is created. In a nutshell, that's how you create an automated backup. Let me try again and see if 
it will update this backup maybe at uh, 18 we can see uh, if it can update it at 18 uh, at uh, 18 hours so uh, for the time being let me say go edit andre probably is is so email maybe some email and then yeah and then close this so the idea i'm waiting this one to uh reach 18 hours to see if the backup will be automatically uh updated but however as i wait i just want to explain that the following day that is the day the day the day the tomorrow the following day it will show uh it, it will create another file and it will give it uh uh, uh 21st of april uh so yeah and my other videos i'll be showing you how to you can you can uh keep deleting the old backups but at least uh, you can manually keep deleting the old backups so as you can see when i exit it's gonna create a backup and uh, of course maybe there was a bit of delay in time but this is the backup here at 17.59 and in order for us to confirm that it has really created this backup and corrected and it has updated all the information you just have to check you remember i added andre ss yeah, you can see the backup is uh, functioning very well now when i exit again it keeps updating my backup you can see now the backup is at 18 zero one 18 hour 18 hours uh with uh, one a minute uh, uh, which has passed so you can see it's quite a very exciting way of creating backups in uh, microsoft uh, microsoft access applications i think with that uh please uh, feel free to pick up the code in my uh, uh, in my uh, details below and uh, you can use that code to create automatic uh, backup so that's how you create uh, the backup and uh, please uh, like my video share my video and uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe and also to hit the notification button such that in my subsequent videos i'll be showing you how you can even uh, target a certain folder where you want to create, create your backups uh, whether it is on the network or if it is on uh, another folder under uh, uh, under your probably c or e drive but for today we focused on creating the, uh, the backup in the same folder where the database is located thank you very much for listening to me and bye for now